go guys. So what we have got going on this morning, we're just setting up the Graco Finish Pro, the 595 PC. Okay, what we've got, we're not running the air line, we're just, uh, we're not running the fluid lines today, we're just running the single hose air. Hose Water connector right Water here. Guys, very, um, very great uh, little, little bit of equipment. Accessories you always should have in the truck. I think they cost about $9 um, for your connector. I've got a couple of spares, but hey, when you're doing a roof restoration or um, a house and you don't want to drag around your gun, 30 meter lead, you can pretty much get anywhere you need to go, um, get anything you need to spray, uh, so that makes it a lot easier. And two guys, I am running today the OG uh, FTX gun. I will be probably spraying out the walls first. I'll be probably putting on a 4, 415 maybe, or something like that, FFLP. I haven't decided yet, or I might be just running the LP for high production. Uh, on the on the walls, but that's pretty much all that's going down at the moment. I'm going to be connecting up the. I think this is a 40 meter, 40, 40 centimeter. centimeter, 40 meter, 40 centimeter um, extension wand. Also, so this is um, Graco genuine part. Also, I know they do have a lot of um, you know knockoffs out there. But um, hey, always use genuine Graco parts if it is servicing all your equipment. 100% Graco is the go from Go. So at the moment, I've set up the 30 meter lead. I've set up the um, 40 meter, uh, 40 centimeter extension on the on on the end. We've got the Graco clean shot. Um, we've obviously the Graco housing tip guard. Uh, we have the FTX gun. I like running the FTX. We've got the 595, like I said. We're just running the fluid line. We haven't got the air, air assist or anything hooked up to that today. Um, and yeah, I've got my two buckets of water set up, like I do always, ready to ready to go. Um, so yeah, pretty much right now, all I'm doing, I've just plugged her in. Um, always double check all your, all your, um, all your bolts and housing screws. Make sure everything's tight. Because uh, you don't want, you know, the stuff from worse than um, having a blowout. Just creates a lot of mess and spend a lot more time cleaning up when I mean, you could get half the house paint. That's that's one thing we always double check. And to tell you the truth, I haven't even double checked this one. So well, I better do that right now while I'm here. We have got the Barco um, wrench or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, she's nice and tight. Just want to make sure that's all done. Okay, I have got her in prime position at the moment. Um, always have your pressure down low um, when you start your machine, no matter what. Um, so obviously it's switched on to airless now. Got the pressure down low. Um, and we have the primer hose inside the empty spare bucket so all I'm gonna do guys um, put it down to put up the pressure a little bit right as soon as we start squirting out some paint we know we're ready to rock yeah um, what I always do too guys I never put me uh, priming hose back in here I, I find um, it just creates a lot more washing up um, a lot more scrubbing at the end of the day I always put it back in the spare bucket like this always grab some water um, just, just yeah, you only need a litre or something water in there and that can just sit in here all day um, that way it's nice stays nice and clean um, you're not gonna you know obviously too if you have it sitting out or anything like that it can clog all up in here um, especially in summer guys we are in winter at the moment but um, we do get really hot here in Australia and um, yeah everything can clog up really easy so same as the gun um, I always like to um, you know sit that sit the tip um, the top guard in water also um, never never um, submerge your, your whole gun in uh, that's not what we do but you know even if you got your clean shot you can just sit it in there like that um, same thing you never never submerge your whole um, clean shot also so it's just pretty much making sure your guards covered um, and that way you never have to worry about um, clogs or anything like that also so then 
like I said guys, that's the process. We've got our paint coming through our um, prime hose now. Turn it back down, obviously, because you don't want to be going to have, obviously, if you're flipping, if you've got it up, your prime um, up on pressure, build up pressure, and you do flick it over to spray, um, you can be damaging your, your machine quite easily. Uh, so you always keep all your pressures down when you are flipping from prime to spray position also guys Okay, so like I said we down um, I've got like what I like to do too. I like to cover up all my um, All my little knobs um, and dials, okay doesn't take much guys it takes about 10 seconds to cover these over um, These have probably been on here for about six months and probably um, you know 10 or 15 jobs um, and as you can see, look at this, you peel it off, it's still pretty much like a brand new um, little dial there. So that's just little things like that, guys. Um, you know, it only takes a second, but at the end of the day, if you like to keep your, your equipment clean, um, little things like that just make everything a lot easier when it comes to cleaning up your gun or your machine. Um, so yeah, pretty much right now, um, we're in um, prime position. We've got our pressure low. Right now we can flip us straight to um, spray, okay? Um, open this up, we can turn her on. Guys too, I never really worry about what pressure I'm running at, it's all depending on what tip. Um, and as long as I have, um, I try to keep it low as I can, but as soon as the tails are eliminated for me, that's when I pretty much know I'm ready to rock. Um, so a lot of guys say, oh, what pressure, what, what, um, what pressure you're running for this and that uh, like I say, I don't I, I don't really look um, the same as I don't look at the price of paint We've got to buy it. Um, so yeah in saying that you know, whatever whatever it's running at without um, The lowest pressure I can be without it tailing um, That's when I know I'm ready to rock. So that's the way we do it uh, But like I said now so we're in prime position now guys just got the machine turned on to PSI so now I can She'll slowly start building up pressure. So there we have it. So always pretty much just run in the green section um, at least till I um, set it up. So I have got the Graco clean shot on also guys. So one thing you've always got to make sure that you've got it wound out anti-clockwise as much as you can until you start um, shooting out, well, until you want to start spraying. So when you're priming out your water, everything like that, you want it as far anti-clockwise on the dial as you can, okay? Um, and then pretty much until you start squirting out paint, um, you put in your tip that you want, um, dial up anti-clockwise until you eliminate you're spitting and that's the way we do it guys so what I'm gonna do now just gonna blow out um, the water and everything through this put in the tip um, and we're gonna start spraying out these defeats but oh no we're gonna start spraying out the walls first coat sorry so peace out <laughs> 